Hey guys, Deanne Taylor here. So last week I did a video on the new enhanced email template editor, which allowed us to actually have a new experience when we're creating these email templates for our end users. So in this article, I'm gonna talk about another 2022 release wave one feature, but this time I'm going to talk about the experience, the upgraded or updated experience, whatever you would like to call it, for the end users. So grab some popcorn, sit right back and enjoy. Now, before I show you what that experience looks like, I first will have to turn this functionality on as well, just like we saw in the previous video. And it's actually the same way that we're gonna turn on this functionality. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate here to solutions from make.powerapps.com and then you're going to look for a solution that is not managed or you can just create your own solution obviously and what you want to do here is you want to add this guy that you see here the insert template dialog that's the one that you want to enable so i'm going to get rid of this real quick i'm going to say remove and I'm gonna show you how you can now add this back to this solution. So you're gonna click on top here on the add existing, then you're gonna click here below on more, and then you're gonna click here on setting because you're gonna add this setting to the solution. So you're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna search for what I just said, that enable the new insert template dialog setting. So here it is. And then you see below here, I can click next, and then I'm gonna be able to click add. And we wanna include the definition and the environment values as well. So I'm gonna click here on add, and this is just gonna take a second. And now you wanna select that setting and then you want to click edit here because you just want to change the setting environment value to yes. So if you scroll down, you can see here that my setting environment value was already set to yes because I had previously added it. So this is most likely going to be set to no. So make sure that you set this to yes. And then you want to go ahead and save that setting and then you want to publish obviously that solution as well now again since i have already done that previously i'm not going to do that again but that's definitely something that you want to do all right so now let's jump into the environment so i can show you exactly what that new experience looks like all right so here we are in the customer service hub but I noticed after turning this on, this was not just working in the customer service hub, this was also working in other model-driven apps as well. But let me go ahead and show you this. I'm just gonna create an email directly from within here, and I'm gonna send this to one of my contacts. Let's just pick Glenn, or Jim Glenn here. And I'm going to click here on the top, insert template, and this is when you're going to see that different way, that different behavior, that functionality that we get because I just turned that on. So you can see here that the dialogue is, is very different, right? You can see here that this looks a little bit different and I can scroll down etc but I can kind of click on this and then kind of review that information but I can also read the actual description of that or I should say of each of those 
templates directly from within here. Now, if I click on this link, what's going to happen? I haven't tried this yet. Oh, this is actually just going to enter this inside of my email. So let's go ahead and click that again. Now, the other thing that you notice here is there's actually two buttons here as well that you can utilize. So one of them is the show as, and this is how the actual templates are going to be shown in this list. So you can see this is set to tiles, but I can also change this to a grid view or I can change it to a list view. So you can actually decide how you want that to be shown. I really like the tiles though. And then the other thing that you can do is you can kind of filter out, right? The records, you can see that these are set filters. There's nothing really that I can add here. But what I can do, um, let me see if I can, I have a couple of follow-ups here. So let's say, I'm just going to say the word up here. Let's see what happens. And now it actually shows me all of the email templates that have the word up in the description. So you can do a little bit of filtering. If you're done with filtering, you can just right clear that filter directly from within here, or you can click it again and remove that whole window. Now I did want to mention that you can actually set the default view for this email template, which I have set to tiles. So let me show you where you can do that. First, you'll have to go and click on the gear and go to the advanced settings. So let me just go ahead and do that. So once you're here in the advanced setting settings, you'll go to administration and then you go to system settings. And then if you click on the email tab, you'll notice all the way on the bottom here, the enhanced email template selection experience, <laughs> a long word for that, but that's really what that is, right? You can see here again, I can pick from my tiles view, my grid view or my list view. So this is where you can set what the default view should be for those tiles. So let's jump back here. A few more things I wanted to mention. Obviously, you'll notice that the search bar is still available, which is great. We had this in the previous experience, and of course, uh, the search bar stayed, which is definitely what we wanted. The other thing I wanted to show you is when you actually click here inside of that email template, you'll notice that it actually loads in full screen. And you also notice that you now have a next button uh, on the top here of the screen. So this is going to allow you to very quickly kind of go through those templates, right? You can see this is the next one I have kind of small here. I don't know if I can zoom in a little bit and I can go to my next one. This is number four, my next one, my next one, etc. When I'm ready to select any of those templates, let's go to the next one. Let's say this one looks good. I'm going to zoom out again. I can just select this template from here as well. I'm going to click on that and then it's going to say, do you want to replace the subject line? Yes. Now I already had one in here, so I'm going to delete that. And this is how it's now very easily added to my email message. I think these are some nice updates for end users. And it also shows that Microsoft is still uh, really making those changes and those updates so that end users have the best experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.